Okay, welcome to the first session of the introduction to AQA A-Level Psychology. In this session, uh, we're going to be covering the assessment objectives today for AQA Psychology. We're going to be looking at explaining and describing what the AO1, AO2 and AO3 assessment objective is, the proportion of marks for each assessment objective, and also identifying the command words um, in terms of exam questioning for each assessment objective as well. So in terms of the assessment objectives, some of you might recognise um, some of these from GCSE. Um, so AO1, in terms of psychology here, will be our outline, our describe. So description of, for example, a study or a theory. So we're just describing here for the AO1 assessment objective. The AO2, some of you might be familiar with that in terms of it being evaluation for GCSE. At A-level psychology, it's actually apply. So this is whereby um, you may be given a STEM or scenario and you're asked to explain the behaviour um, of the STEM scenario in terms of the knowledge that you know. So it's really about linking the AO1 with the AO2. So you're applying your knowledge to a scenario. In the AO3 is your evaluate, so your strengths and weaknesses, your analysis um, of a study, of a theory, as it were. So if we go into a bit more detail on each assessment objective now in terms of explaining them, the AO1, like I said, is your description, your outline of a study or theory, depending on the wording of the question. So an outline question will require an explanation of any or all of the following. So it could be aim, procedure, findings, conclusion. Um, whereas theory outline may require an explanation of a behaviour using a particular theory. So here we'd be looking for key specialist terminology from the particular theory that you're asked to outline. So that's the AO1. Let's now have um, a closer look at the AO2, the application assessment objective. So the AO2, like I said, is applying knowledge to a scenario. So the key here is to demonstrate to the examiner that you have understanding of the psycho psychological knowledge by applying it to a STEM a scenario, something they give you in the exam. So like I said before, you're linking your theory, your AO1 objective to your AO2. Um, it's worth noting as well, AO2 can also be assessed in some research methods questions where you must apply your knowledge or skills as well. And um, we'll look at some sample questions um, as this course goes on. So lastly, the AO3, the evaluation, um, and evaluation really does just mean strengths and weaknesses. Um, so again, this um, here, the key is to analyse and discuss the merits or the pitfalls of a topic, theory or study. So let's have a quick look at an activity to uh, kind of assess that understanding there. So here uh, you're more than welcome to uh, pause the PowerPoint, but um, really what is a good activity to do is identify the assessment objectives here. So you want to have a read of all three of these questions and have a think about um, which question is an AO1 question, which one is an AO2 and which one is an AO3. So if you want to pause to read through. So you can see here with the first question, Johnny and Kevin are identical twins. Johnny seems to be a natural at football, whereas Kevin has bad coordination, is better at painting. With reference to Johnny and Kevin, explain genotype and phenotype. Now here, you've got a stem. This is called a stem. It's a scenario. It's um, an application question, if you like. And hopefully you've noticed that because it says with reference, uh, you've got to explain their behaviour using a theory, which is the genotype and phenotype. Um, so it's quite quite a common type of question where you're given a scenario and you're asked to explain the behaviour um, and linking it to, to those cases. We have a look at that second one then. Briefly describe what is meant by interactional synchrony. And of course, some of you watching this today uh, might not know what interactional synchrony is, might not know what multi-store model of memory is. That's fine. You're going to be learning this throughout the course. But the point here is to identify those assessment objectives. Now, here the key term, the command word here um, that really signifies what assessment objective this is, is the describe. Briefly describe what's meant by. So hopefully some of you are able to identify this is an AO1 assessment objective. 
The last one here, identify criticism of the multi store model of memory for one mark. Um, although identify can sometimes be uh, an AO1 assessment objective, it really goes by what follows. So it's asked you to identify criticism, so a, a weakness, if you like, of the multi store model of memory. It could also be a strength as well, um, but mostly uh, it, most students uh, would identify a, a weakness here. So for one mark, that would be an AO3 question. So looking at the proportion of marks uh, to each assessment objective uh, across each paper, actually, uh, this is the split. Now, I think the thing to emphasise here when you're doing the A-level course is there's, there's way more marks, well, more marks, if you like, um, for your AO3 assessment objective, which basically means you really need to make sure that you are um, capable of writing and analysing, criticising strengths, weaknesses of a study or theory. 36-38% um, of your marks are going to be for AO3 and your AO1 and your AO2 is, is between 30 and 33%. Now AO1, uh, you, you could arguably say, is more of the kind of um, basic assessment objective in terms of its generally quite an easy assessment objective to do, describe and evaluate something. Um, AO2 a bit harder and AO3 as well. So AO2 again is your application to a STEM or scenario, so you are using some AO1 there, but you can just get questions that are just purely AO2. And your AO3, like I said before, is, is worth the most amount of marks. So that's a skill base that you will build up over the linear course over the two years. And uh, we'll be uh, showing you in the activities in the forthcoming PowerPoints um, how to perfect AO3 and what kind of resources you can be using with tutor to you to make sure that your AO3 is, is really, really good. So in terms of command words, we've already seen some command words from those previous questions, but the, these are just a few command words for each, each assessment objective. They're by no means an exhaustive list. Um, so for AO1, some command words you might want to be looking out for to signify that it's AO1. Outline, describe, name, what's meant by and explain. They kind of all signifies that that's most likely going to be an AO1 assessment objective. AO2, remember, is you are trying to explain a scenario or STEM. So with reference to, for example, you might have in a question in this study where you, we have to refer to the study they've given you is, is an AO2 assessment objective and also things like referring to the comments above. AO3, like, like I said before, is your evaluation, your strengths and weaknesses. So if you get a question to discuss, evaluate, analyse strengths and weaknesses, that is a signifier that that is going to be your AO3 assessment objective. So we're going to play a little game now. So um, you can pause the PowerPoint on the next slide. We're going to try and categorise these um, command words, if you like, into AO1, AO2 and AO3. So if you want to just have a quick review and read of these uh, command statements, and then we'll do a quick 60 minute timer and see if you can kind of bunch them into AO1 and AO2 and AO3. So here we go. Okay, so let's have a look at the answers here and we can compare this uh, to your own answers. So we should have, so for your AO1, we should identify the outline describe is your outline, your AO1 assessment objective, you're describing something. So six and five is your AO1 assessment objective. AO2, we should have in this study with reference to referring to the comments above. 
you're applying to something. And your AO3 lastly is your weakness, your strength and your discuss. So in the session today we've had a look at explaining AO1, AO2 and AO3, the three assessment objectives in the linear A-level psychology course, the proportion of marks for each assessment objective across the papers, and lastly, command words to identify um, for your assessment objectives as well.